We lost one of our sisters. Her name was Tierra Marie Lewis. She was only 36 years old. And I want to share this story about her life and living and what happened to one of our sisters. I want you to like and share this video everywhere you can. Because there's just no reason why I should be reporting it at this later date. How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? Okay. Her name is Tierra Marie Lewis. She was 36 years old. I need y'all to work with me here because I'm going through a lot of different channels about this girl being reported as far as her death. Now, I'm going to be going through a lot of different things. Third Spring Porter as of August the 6th, 2021. A transgender woman, Lewis, murdered in Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. Police responded to a report on a gunfire on June the 12th, 2021. Found the transgender woman, Lewis, 36 years old, bleeding badly on East 79th Street. At first reported on Buckeye Flames, officers gave her chest compressions, but she died at the hospital of a gunshot on the right side of her chest. On June 28, 2021, Cleveland homicide detectives arrested Dwayne Lansford, 25 years old of Cle Cleveland, in a connection with her death. Now, I just want to pause here for a second, because if you look up his name, <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is him, Dwayne's at Lansford. Um, it's basically his last tweet was on and on Twitter. His last tweet was June the 23rd, 2019. Now, this is last tweet. Now, I'm not sure it's the same person, but mm, on his profile, it state he's versatile. And anybody knows what versatile means, it is what it is. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to put his picture up there, but you go on Google, you can just basically look at the um, picture. I don't know if it's him, but I'm not going to say that it's him. But at the end of the day, I'm not putting it up here in this video. That's up to you to go check it out to do your resources and stuff like that. You can comment below and let you know if you think it is it was a person that's allegedly that's been arrested in reference to the connection of this girl's death, 25 years old, of Cleveland, um, connection with the death of Lewis. Lansford pleaded not guilty, aggravated um, murder and felonious assault charges. So why did it take so long to hear about her murder? A police report initially listed her as John Doe, despite her having her legally change her name and gender marker and the policy requiring the police to report ethnicity name, authentically names of the transgender person. Allegedly, this is what it's stated. Now, the county medical examiner's office said that Lewis listed under the male name some was given at birth, that she was given at birth, despite the fact that her name was legally changed, which is reflective of her state identification card. Let's say it's clear. So basically, she had her name changed, but somewhere along the line, I do not know. They found her name that she was born with, and basically, they didn't know... Um, the reports they said they said they listed her up beneath the male name she was given at birth. How they knew this, I do not know. A spokesman for the medical examiner office said that the fingerprints identified Lewis as Tierra Marie, her chosen name. However, on her death certificate document prepared by the funeral home, the family provided a different name and that became the official record linked to her death. So basically, they buried her allegedly underneath her birth name instead of um, she, her, and her director of development of LGBT community center of the greater Cleveland contacted um, them in reference to recall that was being reported if if it wasn't for um, Lewis being associated with the LGBTQ community center greater Cleveland and advocates like elena turan we may have never known about her death so thank god she was an advocate in reference to um 
being a person that was a spur person out there for the LGBT community, so she already knew I had sisters and stuff out there. And basically, they knew who she was, and they basically let people know that she was a trans woman, being very disrespected in her death, in my opinion, when it came to her death and stuff. And I don't know why it was done that way. Um, her life was remembered on August the 12th, 2021. Two months following the murder on East 79th Street, uh, Cedar Avenue, around 1 p.m. Rest in peace. Now, that's one part of the story I want to share with y'all. And also want to share with y'all in reference to something else I had saw. Now, it was stated that a suspect has been arrested and been charged with aggravated. Um, I said that part. Now, Lewis was a member of the family and people connected her with Cleveland Center's a trans wellness program, which operate support groups, uh, offers resources. I just really respected her for the fact that she walked through so much. She went through so much, but they put walk through so much. Director of Development of the Center told that she commanded attention. She recalled Tamika Jones, a member of the trans wellness group. She was tall like me and she was a spirited girl. One day she would have had purple hair. The next day she had pink hair. Always a great outfit. Another character change. The woman was killed in this country. When will the violence end? Tori Cooper, director of community engagement of HRC, transgender um, justice initiative, said that the new release that Tiana, Tierra Marie should have had the chance to live her life um, as she wanted to live as continued of the violence against transgender people and stuff. So, she was found shot in a resident neighborhood of Cleveland. Police responded to a gunshot. She had been shot in the chest. Officers attempted to revive her. As the, detect as the detective faint pulse, but she died at the hospital afterward, allegedly. A suspect has been arrested, Dwayne, 25 years old, a Cleveland, has been charged with aggravated murder. I do not know how they got his name. I do not know. It's also stated here that Lewis had been experiencing homelessness and received assistance from the LGBT community. She had moved to um, Cleveland last year from Columbus and was trying to break away from sex work and recovery from an addict addiction to the public knows. She has stayed in various shelters, been experienced conflict at some of the blatant transphobia and the list, at least of one security guard using the T word and referring to her as a male pronoun. Also, Lewis was aware that she had been um, that as far as behavior, she was working on them. Each time she was dismissed by the shelter, she was resilient. Lewis was a member of family of the people connected with Cleveland Center Trans Wellness Program will operate a support group. I really, I just really respected her and the fact that she walked and she went through so much. They all, everybody says she went through a lot. Homelessness, being shot and killed, There's been a delay in knowledge of her death. Part of the total due misgendering, misnaming, local officials, lack of media coverage, notes, new release from Human Rights Campaign. That was being reported as of August the 9th, 2021. And she was killed allegedly back in June the 12th. Three months later, the family and friends, you're in my prayers and stuff. This is the thing about it and stuff. A suspect is arrested and charged with aggravated murder and felonies assault and pleaded not guilty. Now y'all could, like I said before, y'all could go look up his name and stuff. I seen a man up here. It's basically, if you go on Google, you see this man, you click on that picture, 
and it goes straight to his Twitter page and on his page he makes it very clear he's versatile and it's, and I'm not saying I'm not saying this is him I'm not saying it's not him because for some reason he's very much protected my personal opinion I guess because they haven't gone to court so once again we do not get the faces of these killers that's killing us it's kind of like you kind of hop on the killers kill another one now allegedly he has been arrested and stuff on his profile he's stating that he's versatile anybody don't know what that versatile means that you could be the you could be the the, the you could be the t the top in the bed or you could be the bottom it doesn't matter for you as long as you get it now is this the same person i do not know however i find it very weird that his name is the same name as this girl has been murdered and as me doing more work and stuff like that i find it very weird once again, I'm not putting his name, his name, his picture up there. But they're not putting the guy's name up here who allegedly killed her. Allegedly. And my thing is this, is that I find it really weird. And it's one thing I always said before. I don't know if she knew her killer. Was she friends with her killer? I do not know. But for some reason, I've always said this before. And I will always say it. It really don't be, I'm not saying it's set in stone, but it always, it don't always be straight people. It be people in your own LGBTQ. It be people right there in your own community that's killing us. And I said this all the time. It be the ones that kill us, the ones that's in our community. The ones that look like you be the ones killing you, but yet and still, they're in a bed with another person. Of course he's going to say he didn't do it. Of course he's going to say that. He already knows. He knows how it works. He knows how to work the system. I'm just waiting to the fact now that they had sex. I do not know. Was it a, a confrontation on the street? I do not know. All I know, this beautiful woman has been killed. Their name, even though reports initially listed her as a Jane Doe, excuse me, John Doe, not even a Jane, I said Jane, they put John, despite her having her legally name changed and gender marker and a policy requiring the police to report the authentic name of the transgender people. But the county medicals examined Lewis listed underneath male name she was given at birth despite the fact that the name was legally changed. Her name was legally changed and they still didn't buy by her rules. Which was reflected of the state identity card. Which is this, which stated on reflected on the state identity card. Alleged <coughs> I do not know. Excuse me. A spokesperson for the medical examiner office said that, her, that, her, that the fingerprints identified Lewis as Tara Marie, her chosen name. However, on her death certificate documents prepared by the funeral home, the family provided a different name. Whole family. Lord Jesus. And that became an official record linked to her death. I ain't gonna touch that because that's family and y'all know how family is. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing to say about family. If you was on my live last night, y'all know how I feel about family. I ain't gonna touch it. But I will say my sister rest in peace. It is not fair. It is not right what's been done to you. 36 years old. It is not fair what this world have done to you. And I always find it amazing. We're placed here by God. And people that don't understand people feel as they got the right to kill people. <sighs> I'm not going to say no more because like, my blood pressure is going to go up. And it's, 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 it's really aggravating. But please be the voice. Please comment below. Let me know how y'all feel about this. She did everything right. But she perfect? Absolutely not. She had problems, stuff like that, like all of us do. Especially when you've been through holy, you know what I mean? And everybody just have a problem with you existing. Of course you're not going to be happy. Of course you have anger issues. But here it is. But God finds me officers try to give her um, chest compressions. She died at the hospital. She's already dead. My opinion. 
it was she was gunshot on the ground how do they link this guy to it i do not know i do not know whether he was a part of i do not know was he a friend i do not know he got arrested did he it's it's information missing anyway like i said before it's quite on my channel just so i get an update i will be let you know what's going on Subscribe to my channel to top this Instagram button. You follow me, I follow back, share the video if you can. Let's try. I love you and thank you for watching. Kiss the ring.